Hey, what's up? This is Curtis Turner, a.k.a. The Iceman, and today I'm going to be showing off Monsters of War version 1 for Windows Phone. Monsters of War is a twin-stick twisted shooter slash swordplay. So, spells and swords. Right now, there's currently only one spell, a ball spell. You have two different attacks. You have attack 1 and attack 2 you can change everything about the weapon system and the, uh, the game at this point there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of menus to walk through a lot of different options to choose it's not that great of a system so far I'd really like to be able to put in um, a certain number rather than having to manually do it The main thing that I worked on in the menus are the viewports and uh, camera system. There's a lot of different things you just do with that. So yeah, if you were able to put in uh, any number you wanted, this would make it a lot quicker. I don't have any kind of con configuration system set up, so it doesn't save anything. That's a really big problem. Uh, the whole input and output system is very, very confusing. Like everything else was like easy, but <laughs> I can't. Like I'm really big on hotkeys and things like that. I made Leapboard for Half-Life 2. So I'm, I'm really huge on hotkeys, so it's kind of a disappointment that I can't add some kind of configuration system. I got the basics of the input output system. I was able to show like the source code and things like that, but you can't save anything. When you look at the source code, um, I'd really like to be able to show everything. But currently I only picked a few different things. I wanted to get the game released. So yeah, mainly you got just a few different ones. Players is pretty laggy. It's, it's pretty monster big. Class inputs. So if you are new to XNA or mono game, you might want to look into it. Like I show the cameras and the viewports, how that's done. Now as you can see, I really need to add a lot more weapons. The problem is with Windows Phone is I don't I, I only have like two different uh like I have two sticks. I don't you know there's if I could add it, so there's like one stick up here, one stick up here, one stick down here, one stick down here. Then I could do a lot more with the hotkeys. The level system, the maps, whatever you want to call it, it's really, really pathetic. It's just like a few different blocks in the block in the big square and a few different blocks outside the square. I don't really plan on doing anything with that actually. Like, I'm just not a good enough coder, and I don't feel like wasting my time on it. I'd rather have good gameplay. Big Block is good enough for now, but eventually I'd like to be able to, you know, add a lot of different options for that. So, you know, it's basically a whole level, and you play like a single player game. The AI is very basic. It's very pathetic as well. It just kind of picks random different movements. The worst uh, fender is when it just keeps moving forward. The problem with that is um, it gets, there's no body collision. I didn't feel like adding body collision yet. So when it gets right on you, it it's, gets stuck in the middle of you. So I don't know if that's going to be a problem on Windows Phone because you'll be able to use um, two hands. For the emulator, I can only choose if I want to move or if I want to aim. Yeah, let's see here. The HUD is very basic. I don't plan on doing anything with that. Right now, I mainly just want to focus on the player movements and being able to dodge and jump and adding different weapons. 
I'll be looking into that this month. So that's probably what I'll be working on mainly. The uh, the graphics are absolutely horrible. It's like <laughs> programmer art, like uh, in the negatives made by like a child or something, like crayons. Imagine programmer art with crayons. <laughs> uh, weapons like they don't collision. Uh, the collision isn't so great. Sometimes uh, it'll go right through you. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Like maybe I made the the rectangle like too big or too little and it's showing a different image. I'll look into that. But uh yeah. Another cool thing about you know so basically uh that's it for today. The There's a lot of different options to walk through. You definitely want to look into that.